I mow your lawn. First up, get yourself some PVC. Uh, let's see, I used uh, one and a half. And then uh, they sell these little uh, wall mount hangers. Get some right angle uh, guys. Drill four holes in there. Uh, I forgot what size bolts I used. I used these guys right here. I got a uh, rubber washer on that side. And then the other side, I got a metal washer using lock nuts because the vibration will knock it loose. Let's get to the second part of this, which will be the vertical right, here bars. here we go. This is a prototype. That's why there is tape. I'm just trying to figure out the shape that I want to get this thing. It's already kind of warped. Um, so yeah, you know, real simple. Um, I mounted the uh, this piece of PVC down here. I didn't glue this and this, um, just so you can pull the whole top off. It just rests on these... Um, bolts that would kind of come up so it works out good uh, i just went up to a t-pipe came around another t then a 45 and a cross brace because you can need horizontal crossing didn't bother in the back um i can add one if i if i deem it necessary uh it's pretty ugly right now <laughs> kind of got the flintstone thing going in the back maybe i'll cut out a window that'd be funny uh but no not really because sun you know but uh hey not bad this is uh, a cheap bimini i mean you're talking uh what i buy a couple uh 10 foot one and a half inch uh pvc uh we got uh let's see two four four elbows four 45s and four t's um and that piece of vinyl is from home depot it's like a four by eight sheet uh, I think it was 20 bucks. So, I mean, I'm in this thing under 30 for sure. And these things cost hundreds if you buy them for your mower. If you can find one for an old ass Troy built. But here we go. I'm gonna cut the grass now. Out in the sweltering sun. Oh yeah, it's hot. I'm working in the shade, but it's hot. 90 degree day again. Wanted to show you that uh, it's working. So let's see, the sun is pretty high in the sky and uh, it's providing shade most of my legs on that side I'm pretty shade covered back here I mean this is nice it's like a little coop got going on here so uh, rock and roll let's cut some grass since I'm doing so much work around the house and hauling stuff as you can see I got a tree that I've been cutting up uh, I picked up a old garden trailer uh, I got a couple wheels that I ordered for it because even after trying to fix this wheel with fix a flat um still not holding it's just so dry rotted and i want to put a lot of weight in it so i went ahead and ordered some uh never flat which are like solid tires um to replace those with um okay so this may seem silly to you but i put a bimini top on my riding mower um this will probably be another separate video but here is what I have done. The reason why I did this, first of all, this takes a long time to cut. I have a ton of property. There's a trail too that I made that goes back behind that field. And I'm pretty fair skinned and I'm in direct sunlight. And this summer has just been killing it with the heat and the humidity in Michigan. 90 degree days, nonstop. I mean, I sound whiny, but you know, I'm not from, you know, the Southern states, if that's where you guys are from and quite used to it and chuckle at our measly 90 degrees. Um, but the sun is still too hot for me. I sunburn pretty easy. So I made this bimini top. Uh, it is built out of PVC pipe and this is like vinyl um, plastic sheathing. It's got a decent mill to it. So it's pretty, pretty durable. And uh, yeah, I just used some PVC clamp downs, uh, one and a half PVC pipe. Um, so let's see, I got the two 45s there. So two, four, six, eight. So eight 45s. Let's see, two, four, four T's, uh, T connector pipes. And uh, 
yeah, that's all you really need to do this. Um, yeah, they do sell these bimini tops. I keep calling it a bimini top. I'm a boat guy. I don't know what they call them on mowers. I guess just a sunshade or a, a roof. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So I, I built this. Um, they do sell them. They're super expensive. And um, not really that interested in it. Spending that money. So um, these are just self-tapping screws that I use uh, stainless. Let me go across. It is kind of Flintstone-ish looking, um, or a coupe maybe. Got that kind of coupe look. But man, this keeps you out of the sun. It keeps you way cooler when you're riding. Um, the only thing I need to do is, I don't know if it's, it's probably just because of the, the amount of time I'm on the mower. This thing's loud, my ears were ringing. I know a lot of people say, oh, you just wear earmuffs and everything, but it's kind of hot and I would rather just quiet it down, so. I do have another muffler for this guy. This is the original muffler that came with the original motor because I did swap the motor in this thing. And it has a much larger motor. Uh, I forgot what I put in there. I think it's an 18 horse motor. Um, I changed that, oh, maybe 10, 10 years ago or so because I absolutely love this mower. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, tools. Um, the cool thing is, is this pedal, this is a hydrostatic motor, so if you push on the top of this pedal, it goes forward and speed control, and if you push back, it's reverse. That's it. Um, one hand operation, pretty much. Um, yeah, check out the cup holder. It's pretty cool. I added that as well. It's a must-have. And, uh, yeah, so she has a name. That's right. The Grizzly Reaper. Now, I'll give you a minute to think what that reference is from. Okay, time's up. That reference is from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, uh, you know, on the magic boat ride where he says, is the Grizzly Reaper a mowing? Get it? Ah. ah. Okay, enough cheese. Yeah, it's this little guy. Little, little grasshopper, kinda cool. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Going for a ride on the Reaper? All right. Okay. Other things I added. Very handy to have. Two-inch ball. This garden trailer had the regular, just throw a pin in it kind of deal. I'm still kind of working on it. I need another bolt in there. But two-inch receiver. That is a huge um, convenience luxury whatever hooking that to that is way easier than messing around with lining up holes and pins and yada yada so if you got a mower you're into mowers and you're pulling trailers or implements do that you'll save yourself a bunch of headache this, mo this garden uh trailer i don't know who makes it man i love it third uh, quarter inch steel bars there real thick heavy duty box um that little handle right there, yeah, it's a dumping trailer, so you can dump on it. Uh, I get super crazy. Maybe I'll upgrade that because uh, I am going to be hauling a lot of dirt around. I got a lot of holes that's been filling with junk everywhere. This is like more like a field, not a residential piece of property. It's hard pack. There are um, a lot of tracks from all the heavy equipment uh, when they were working on this property everywhere. And, and mowers don't have suspension, so you are going for a wild ride. 